Hey guys, I wanted to get on here today and do a home vlog because five months ago today, our Shih Tzu Zsa, Zsa passed away. And in the process of all of this and all the time that's passed, we had already decided that we were not going to have any pets for a while. We were going to just be pet free because we've had pets for many, many years. And as much as we love having our animals around, the reality is they are very time consuming and trying to do anything like vacations or being away from the house for any length of time is always a bit of a problem. But anyway, after four months of Zsa, Zsa not being here, we had decided that we were going to go ahead and adopt a dog. So we started doing a little bit of research on PetFinder.com and found our new forever baby, forever baby. And he's super, super sweet. We actually named him after one of our favorite rides at Magic Kingdom. And that is Space Ranger Spin. But he is the Evil Emperor Zerg. So let me go ahead and introduce you to the Evil Emperor Zerg. So this is Zerg. <laughs> he's the Evil Emperor Zerg. He's literally the best baby ever. He was a stray, was not microchipped, so we didn't know anything about him. But he had some medical issues, had the hematoma on his ear. It had to have surgery done. Uh, he had a couple broken teeth that were not broken down in the quick, so they did not remove them because they said they're not where it's painful. But he did have a couple teeth that did have to be removed. Uh, we're suspicious. We don't know if he broke the teeth by trying to scavenge for food because he was skeletal. He had to have been on the run for quite a while because he was so thin. But it could have been that. But it could have also been, it might have happened when he was with pet control um, and put in one of the carriers. He panicked real bad the night that he came to live with us. We didn't really know anything about him, so we were going to put him in the big dog carrier in our room right beside the bed. But as soon as I put him in there, he just panicked and went crazy and started trying to eat the door, the metal door, because he was just so scared. So we took him out. We really didn't know what to expect or anything, but he just snuggled right up in bed and stayed there all night. So he definitely had some form of house training. He was fairly well house broke when uh, we got him, but he had a few accidents because we didn't recognize the signs when he first got here. We were having to take him out about every two hours. Um, they estimate him to be about um, nine years old. They're not exactly sure. They're guessing. But he's got a cataract that needs to be removed. We have to find out if he's eligible to have that removed. And if he is, then uh, we're going to have that done. But it'll be expensive for sure to have that surgery done. But because of the fact he's so young, we want to make sure that he's got the best life that he can possibly have. Otherwise, what was the point? Ain't that right, baby? Hmm? He's literally the best puppy. I mean, he's just so sweet and kind and acts incredibly grateful for us rescuing him. I think that he knows 100% that he was rescued and um, knows that we love him and take care of him and he's very snuggly and absolutely loves being with his mommy. He's a little bit fidgety right now because I'm holding him kind of awkward so that I can have him up high for the camera. But he likes being in my office. He's got a window seat and he likes to lay there and look out the window and sleep and maybe pick up a few rays of the sunshine. And then I also have a little seat here beside my desk that he can lay right beside me if he wants because he wants to be very close. He, If I leave the room, he gets a little panicky. But overall, he does real well. Since we don't really know his history, it's hard to say what he's been faced with. I don't think he was ever abused. I'm just suspicious that he got away from his owners. I really don't know what to think. I just don't know. 
but literally the sweetest dog. We're so grateful to have him and uh, feel very blessed that we got a dog that is pretty much everything that we hoped he would be and he's so snuggly and since he still has quite a bit of life left uh, we just want to give him the best life that we possibly can because he'll definitely give us the best life that we can have so but anyhow this is our evil emperor zerg <laughs> he's just so sweet he just doesn't even care he's just so lovable we don't know how long he was on the run but as skinny as he was it actually would scare me to pick him up because he was just so frail feeling but he's just so incredibly sweet so we adopted him with nothing more than a photo when I contacted the adoption agency about adopting a senior pet and told them approximately what we wanted to have they said that the dog that I was inquiring about was already pending adoption so she had sent me a picture of Zerg and ask if we might be interested in him. They were trying to place him and they had looked in multiple states, could not find a foster agency or placement for him anywhere. And when I seen the picture, I guess the best way I could describe it is love at first sight. He just looked absolutely adorable. He looked so calm and just a lovable puppy, even though he's an old guy, puppy but he seriously is so sweet i have heard that senior dogs are hard to place because people don't want to take time they don't want to have the possible financial strain of an older dog because sometimes there's health issues or medications or something that's involved with older dogs but i knew that i wanted an older dog and also knew that if i had the opportunity to help an animal in need and seniors are ones that are often overlooked. That was what I really wanted to do. But we were looking for a poodle or shih tzu or some type of dog like that where they don't have shedding issues and they don't have pet dander and stuff because I have a lot of allergies. So it's a concern for me for that. And uh, just seeing that picture of him the first time, seriously, the sweetest dog. He still has anxiety issues if we leave the room he is searching for us and scared so if we're gone we have someone here babysitting um, if I am out working uh, right now Joe is working from home because of COVID so at least he's not here by himself but even simple things like we went out to put the plow on the vehicle because we were expecting a heavy snow and shuffle vehicles around to get the hot rod into the garage and get both of the four-wheel drives out so that we could actually make it up and down our driveway and, and function. But he could see us. He was in my window of my office and at the back door where he could see us. But we could hear him howling and crying from inside of the house. He was just that scared. I don't know his background. Nobody knows his background. He wasn't microchipped. I don't know if he just got away from his owner, if maybe he went wandering off because he's seen another animal. I, I don't know if maybe he was in an elderly home and they had some sort of a medical emergency and when paramedics got there, maybe he slipped out the door. There's a lot of different scenarios that it could possibly be, but he is so smart and he was already potty trained. He did have a couple accidents in the house, but they were, he would go down to the back door and lift his leg on the back door. So he knew that he needed to go out. We just didn't know the signs of him telling us. And he doesn't bark, he doesn't make any noise except for when we were shuffling vehicles. That was the only time we really ever heard him make a noise at all. But he's still learning things like, I'm not sure that he ever really played with toys We've got a bunch of toys for him, but he pretty much just plays with one. And everything else he kind of looks at a little bit, but he won't really touch it much. So I don't know if he just doesn't understand the concept or if he just likes that one toy that much. I'm not really sure. 
We bought them all kinds of sweaters. We live in the Midwest, so it's incredibly cold. It's been zero here a lot of nights and below zero a few different nights. So having him go outside to the bathroom is always a concern. But perfect, perfect dog. He hasn't gotten into anything. He's a snuggler in bed. He just wants to be all snuggled up close and he doesn't wake up till morning most nights. There's been a few nights that he's gotten up in the middle of the night and decided he needed to go to the bathroom. But for the most part, he sleeps until I get up in the morning. I would strongly encourage anyone, if you're considering adoption of a pet, please go to the different agencies, the Humane Societies, PetFinder.com, different adoption agencies. Look for an older pet. They are the sweetest, most loving. Oftentimes, they're already potty trained. He got all of his shots and got everything before we picked him up. He had his hematoma surgery before we picked him up. He got all of his shots and got uh, the heartworm treatment and was kind of groomed. Uh, the foster mom that had him for the week prior to us getting him, we were very fortunate because she and I did keep in contact with one another. So she was telling me about his mannerisms and things that he did know and uh, she did tell me that he did have an accident in the house but she was suspicious that maybe she had just waited too long but it was nice being able to have that person giving me feedback before we made that ultimate decision because literally we were basically making our decision off of a picture and that's not always a perfect situation in our case I think it's probably as close to perfect as it could have been but absolute sweetheart. I love, love, love this dog. He's now been with us for a month and with all of the negative that we've had over the last few months with Gary's health being kind of roller coaster up and down and that's a huge emotional toll with the holidays and my mom being upset and dealing with all that. I knew that I missed having my dog, didn't realize how much I missed having my dog until we got Zerg. He is just the sweetest baby ever. Just absolutely amazing. <laughs> He's seriously hilarious. I don't know why he makes me laugh, but he just does. But it doesn't matter where I'm at in the house. He's usually on me or looking for me. He definitely knows who his mommy is. And he loves his daddy and his Gary, too. He's just the best baby. <laughs> Little Zerg. Little Zergatroid. Yeah. He's just the most mellow, mild baby. He's just so sweet. He goes everywhere with us. I just love him. But I wanted to introduce you and let you know that um, with our time that we've been off, we've been pretty much focused on the fact that we were bringing him home and getting him ready and um, just trying to give him a great home. I can't imagine what he went through, but I know that he acts incredibly grateful now. He just snuggles up to me all the time and looks at me ever so adoringly. <laughs> But we took him over and got his picture taken with Santa Claus at Bass Pro Shop, so that was fun. We've bought him all kinds of sweaters and just fun little things. And um, I'm probably going to get him, of all things, a dog stroller. Because when <laughs> he is our first male dog, we've always had females. And it really doesn't matter if you have him go potty outside or not. When you go inside, and you have him on a leash, he wants very badly to mark territory. So I don't want him doing that, obviously. He doesn't do that in the house, but when we go to businesses, he will walk over like he's going to lift his leg. So I don't want that happening at all. So I kind of feel like a stroller might be the best way, just do a pet stroller. Plus it might actually be good if we went down to uh, the parks for any length of time, we could have him in the stroller there. So, anyhow, that is what we've been up to for the last few weeks. 
and I'm sure that you'll occasionally see them in the background of different videos and stuff. But I just wanted to introduce you to the Evil Emperor Zerd. So if you are new to this channel, please hit that like and subscribe and ring bell notification so you don't miss out on the latest and greatest. Also, please don't forget to check out some of our other great videos we have on parks, the rides, resorts, resort rooms, Skyliner rides, day trips, car shows, outdoor pizza oven videos, Universal Studios, Islands of Adventure, and Disney World. Thank you so much for watching. Yeah.